Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clebo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet for episode 7. Now, in the last episode, we continued our explorations. We learnt about Terrestrializing, which uh, is the lovely little crystal ball that we get. And we, uh, yeah, we, we met a few other people along the way. But uh, we're now in Mesocosa, and we're going to continue our adventures. So, uh, of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends and family. But uh, as we can see on the screen right now, I just went into another cafe, found a bit more uh, food items that we could buy and uh, add to our arsenal, but not that I'm buying anything right now, but we could buy them anyway. Of course, if you haven't watched uh, any of the previous episodes, there will be a link down below for the playlist, so please do click the link down below and you'll be able to catch up with everything that's happened so far. So then you're not confused as to why I'm looking at seafood fresco. And where on earth I am in this world of powder, or island of powder, I should have said. And look at that, there's a lovely little Pikachu lemon gelato. Along with some Caesar salads and other things, and dry curry, which is interesting. Seems to have an egg on top. Yep, yeah, just going through all the different shops, all the different foods. Not that, as I say, I buy anything really. Go for a broke grill. There's a paella, there's a paella, paella, or whatever. It's a free punch, and yeah. Tortillas. Yeah, lots of nice, interesting foods. And again, don't buy anything. Because why would I buy something? I mean, come on. I like my money. I don't like to spend my money. Kind of like that real life, really. Yeah, I've just gone and spent like 40 quid on Amazon, so yeah. Don't like to spend my money, clearly. Now, if anyone in the comments is going to ask why I spent 40 pound on Amazon, well, I needed some things for this weekend coming. As uh, I've got a lovely Christmas party I'm going to. With work. And yes, that's work outside of this YouTube that I do. Because of course YouTube's not making any money, so I've got to make money somewhere. And work is what I do. That's all you need to know. It pays the bills, that's what matters. And pays for me to be able to play this game and record it and share it with you. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, press that like button. And yeah, the amount of times I've just walked through that door. Yeah, as I say, cameras, angles, they all seem to mess around and I end up going in buildings when I don't want to. So, but yeah, we're just exploring around uh, Mesa Gosa, seeing what there is, to, what they have to offer. At the moment, we're actually technically trying to find the, the barbers, which uh, we do find eventually. Oh, and there's Delibird presents, exactly what, uh, what's her face? Pneumonia told us uh, all about, so buy a new case if we wanted to for our Rotom phone, but wasn't really a fan of uh, of them. I kind of wanted to see what they looked like on my phone, but unfortunately it doesn't let you. You can just see the picture. So I decided, no, wasn't really a fan of the colours right now. So hopefully we'll find some other colours or some other styles later on. And when we do, if we find one that we like, we will definitely replace the red. Well, the standard Rotom coloured phone. So that will be all for that. But yeah, they know they sell other things. They sell Pokeballs and Heal Balls, which will always come in handy, I'm sure. And some general goods. So these are a few more things. We've got Soothe Bell, some Everstones, and then some Weights. Reduce speed, but uh, will it increase stats a lot uh, quicker? So, oh, and there goes our notification sound again, so apologies for that. Um, I was an idiot and forgot to turn off my desktop audio while I was recording this video and multiple videos. So, anytime I got a notification, it pops up and we get a lovely little sound, so apologies for that again. But yeah, this, uh, that's the store here. We've uh, There's a lot of lovely items. We'll probably come back and end up buying every single one of them at some point. 
because, again, I'm also a collector, so I do like to buy every item. But I like my money a bit more than items right now. So, I shall keep hold of that. What's in here? Oh, we found a place we can buy more fillings. So you can actually make your own sandwiches as well, like with those recipes, like in the last episode. The guy was telling us he could make recipes, he has recipes, or he could teach us recipes. So you can buy loads and loads of different ingredients, which you can then create your own sandwiches. And creating your own sandwiches, you can make random effects. Like the shiny ones that apparently are very late end game kind of style of stuff, so we won't get those for quite a while yet. But when we do, they're definitely gonna come in handy. To go from Broke Grill, which I'm pretty sure was not that entrance. I think there might have been another one. Or if it was that entrance, I was completely forgot that I went through that one. So, it's a good thing I went around there, otherwise, I wouldn't have found that potion. And that super potion. Which, yeah, need plenty of potions because auto healing uses them up. And uh, the last thing you want is to have no potions left. And uh, yeah, if you didn't already notice when uh, people show up in the background or they're sort of further away, they're a little bit choppy in terms of the performance of what they look like. As you can see, they're a little bit glitchy and then they sort of end up walking normally. So it's just one of them flaws that we have uh, in this game. There's a little magic carp in the water there. Not that I can catch them because we're inside the city. A little combi. I feel like the teachers it's always get weird nicknames from their students. I keep hearing kids mentioning names like Old Hass and Bravator. Hmm. Indeed. So we may end up making some nicknames for our teachers. So when we start to meet them, if you have any nicknames you want to name them, then uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below when we get to that episode, or when we get to meeting those teachers. And perhaps then when we end up going back to see them, if we do, we can call them by that name. But I am uh, pre-recording a lot of this uh, audio, so if you do leave any comments, uh, I may not actually get around to uh, to using those nicknames or finding the items that you may have noticed that I've not seen throughout my videos and probably screaming at me going it's over there well um, I clearly didn't see it so uh, I do apologize but yeah I will get around to uh, to finding everything if you do see anything that I missed so do leave a comment down below and I will get around to finding those items for you and then I will also thank you for uh, mentioning what you found. So, oh, we have a little churro place as well. So we can buy churros. We can have a churro, a chocolate churro, or a cinnamon churro. It's not bad. Oh, there's another Pokemon Center. We'll move swiftly on because we don't need to heal our Pokemon. And there's a little spoink, which apparently, if the spoink. Um, falls over it can't get itself back up and yeah potentially could die so as I said in the last episode the, there are some very dark entries in the pokedex so again if you do want to see me do an episode where we just go through pokemon entries in the uh, pokedex then please let me know down below and I will uh, make sure I get something set up for that maybe even live stream it mm, who knows That was a nice little uh, herb shop or uh, what have you. And there's some a shop that we can't go through. And carry on our explorations. A little Starly there. I think it's called a Starly, if I remember right. And there we go. Now we're in the kind of the plaza area, which I do believe is where we then do find. Eventually, we find the barbers. I need more food. 
So there's lots of food shops, and there's a clothing store as well, so we can actually uh, change our clothing if we wanted to. So we do have a look at some of these, because it does actually show you those items as we go, when it finally loads up the, uh, the picture, which it does, there we are, so we head back to the beginning. So we've got plain gloves, in white, black, red, yellow, green, blue, orange, purple, navy, pink, olive, brown, yeah, all the different colours. And we also have fingerless mittens as well, in some mosaic colours. So they look rather rainbowy, which quite fancy. Quite nice, but not for now. We don't need to any of those for the moment. And there's lots of different hats as well, so we can get the pom pom hat if we wanted to. Maybe when uh, we get to a winter stage in the game, then maybe. So then we've got all the different glasses. So we already have the black ones, because we saw those at the beginning of the game. But again, I decided, nah, I'm not going to buy anything for now, because that's all they had, and I was hoping to change my outfit, not just the accessories. So we shall uh, just move swiftly on. some swablu up there. And another shot with some more presents, but white presents this time. Then we got a gelato kind of place, I think it was. Or a picnic, sorry, yeah, it's a, the picnic stuff. So the one stop shop for all your picnic needs. So uh, there is a thing you can do. So you can actually have a picnic with your Pokemon. And when you do, you can make those sandwiches and bring those sandwiches and feed them to your Pokemon. And in doing so, you get them those meal uh, upgrades and things, so that's how uh, they all work. Still to this day, not actually had a picnic, so uh, at some point we will get around to doing that. And when we do, hopefully it'll be lots of fun. And it'll be worthwhile as well. So uh, here we find a few more backpacks, and I did say in episode 1 if I do find another one a different colour, I probably will change it. And so I believe I do pick the red one, because I did like the red one. And red is my favourite colour, so would make sense. Well, technically pink is my favourite colour, but red's a second best, I suppose. And yes, pink is my favourite colour. There's something new you've learnt about me. Ah, uh, yep, go with the... Uh, Canvas backpack in red, and we'll uh, happily use that now. Mm -hmm. We're all done with the shopping there. And next door is the barbers. There we go. Finally found it. So we can go around and uh, get around to changing our hairstyle and the colour of it as well. When else, muchacho? What can we do for you today? Great. Okay, everything prepared. Typical side braid. Practically all the same ones from the beginning. I'll just look through. And I think I do go for the pompadour look. And now we choose a different colour. So now we could be like denim blue, or a denim blue, or a dark denim blue, or an ash green, an ash blonde, an ash white, an ash purple. So many different colours to choose from. It's very Nice coloured scarlet there, violet, lavender, blue, green, smoky pink, blue, red, which I thought was quite cool. Pink, quite nice, white, green, wine red, which I think is very pretty. Pink brown, platinum blonde, light brown, flash brown, dark brown, and gold and black. So I actually go with the wine red because I thought it was the nicest colour there. And suited it very well. And then I was an idiot and decided to put my hat back on. And then quickly took it off again. So yeah, quickly I wear it, but actually I was like, well then how am I supposed to see my beautiful hair? But that's three grand possibly well spent. Me saying I don't like to spend money. Only if it's important or if it's stuff that is going to benefit me. Then maybe I will do. So, 
me then trying to remember all the controls again. There we go. So we're going to head over to the hat, so we're going to remove our hat. Because I no longer want it. There we go. And now we will run around without it. And this will be the look for a while. And still is actually my look at the moment. Because I've not really explored any other shops to see if I can find any other outfits yet. So. Something I probably will do the next time I get back on the game. Which if you haven't already realised, I'm doing a voiceover for this. Because... Why not? Well, actually the main reason was why, because I, I just couldn't be bothered to do any audio while I played the game, because I just wanted to focus on playing it and enjoy it. So, anyway, back to the storyline. So now we're about to meet Team Star. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as nobody. Well, as a nobody, I, I, I maybe that means or as anybody maybe it said? I don't know. Wait, I didn't read that properly. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Don't you want to burn bright? No, not really. Exactly, not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill. For new members, just sign up already. Um, no. I'd rather not. Indeed. Let's help her out. Huh? You want to in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? No. No, I didn't. And I don't really care. Uh, another ignorant little nobody. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I've got to work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The only of our teams on the lines. We've got a, no real choice to, but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Or I'll make you see stars. Because you suck. Challenge me with a shriek. So, let's give Ember a go. Get a fair bit of damage there. Interesting uh, battle music as well for Team Stone. And that was nice and easy. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Because I told you we're going to see stars. Can't defeat me. You're too good. Ugh. Why is nobody like you so good at battling? Why is nobody like you as good at battle? Because I am great. No way he beat you. Does that mean I got to battle this kid now since I'm a higher up the team star ranks? Pero bueno. What do you guys think you're doing? Ah, oh, it's the student council dweeb. Yeah, her name's Pneumonia, get it right. She's gonna report us. I can't believe you, Clubbo. You don't have to go fighting rando find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. That's not really what happened, but it was those star punks. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you, for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Ah, uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. This is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift for you. And now I get to, uh, I now have a terror orb so I can terrorstalize my Pokemon too. So we're going to do just that in this next battle. This terror orb you can terrestrialize. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure you're through. Fuyo Coco will be a fire type. Normally you've got to take special class to be able to get one of these terror orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Oh, well thank you. Saves me a job, I suppose. Now time to give it a whirl. Okay. We'll learn faster in battle. Yeah, probably. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his terror Pokemon, is that it? Got a problem? Wanna battle me instead? Hmm, never mind. 
I'll take my chances. Mmm, you probably shouldn't take your chances with me. I think you'll do better against Pneumonia than me. Genuinely think so. But hey hey, it's all part of the fun. Of me then learning how to use Terraforms. Just makes me laugh that uh, the grunt in the background just dances away. But this is Terra Styling, so... We'll, uh, can crystallize through sh a strange phenomenon. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. After terrestrializing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize a Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use it wisely. So at this point, we will then learn how to terrestrialize. So we now have the option to press R, and then it shows us which terrestrialize we will turn into. So. Ooh, yo, Coco is going to be a fire type. And so he will now have another little candelabra on his head. Ember now does way more damage. Nice and easy. Your oh, Pokemon burns so bright. Alright, clever. Here we go. Pokedex has been updated. We earn more money. She still dances, even though I've beaten him. Very strange. Nice, clever. You pulled off Terrestrializing. Usually, your Pokemon's Terror type will even hit harder when it's Terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terror type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your terror orb at the Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista. Me too, hasta la vista. Alright, Terminators. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, even the teachers don't know what to do with them. Hmm, yeah, well, fair enough. Um, excuse me. Uh, I, uh, well, just, well, thanks. You're welcome. So yeah, see you around. I like your backpack. I want your backpack. Oh, look at you, Clever. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've ever seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, it seems like the trouble's died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up here. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode today, but uh, we'll take on the stairs in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And of course, I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you in the next one.